Hello, my name is Rafa Sardina, and we're here at After Hours Studios, uh, my private studio in Los Angeles. And I'm here to introduce you guys to an amazing box I have been using for the past, uh, over the past year, or maybe uh, close to two years now. And a box that is so, so flexible that uh, I would like everybody to know about. It's such an amazing tone maker box, and it has become a basic, uh, part of my setup and a basic part of my traveling rig. This is a box that is more than a preamp for me because it packs so much action into it, so many possibilities. Not just uh, the preamp section per se, which is a two preamp, by the way, that has a solid state or a transformer based uh, output stage uh, to drive, you know, whatever you, you go into after this after the unit, and that's one of the aspects that gives it so much flexibility, the tube aspect of it, because you can switch between a triode or pentode mode and completely change the character, or, or to me, I would say completely changes. I'm, uh, it's not that a uh, huge, huge change, but for me it is because I listen with very, you know, uh, when I'm looking for things, I, I look for some salts, subtle elements of it and to me it's quite a dramatic change from one to the other which gives the box actually more uses um, in general the same as switching from the solid state to the to uh, to the transformer base output stage and by the way you can even choose different uh, transformers for the output stage they give you the possibility of even uh, choosing you know uh, different alloys for them so which you guys know is going to change the character of the of the output stage the two switches that to me also change a lot the character are the the two two curves that they have two shelving curves eq curves that they have a uh, per per side per preamp which is the the fat and the air and these are EQ curves, solving curves that you can adjust to different positions and and obviously, and it's inside the box, so you can go from here to a preamp, I mean to an EQ and further change the character or do any EQ in that you might need, but it actually covers covers quite a lot of possibilities, even with just those two positions for the air and the disengaged position, which will be in the middle. Also, another aspect that changes a lot the sound is the impedance switch. And to me, that's a very basic switch when using, when micing things, because depending on the microphone that you're using, with different positions, changing the different impedance of the of the unit, in the input stage of the unit, you actually change how the microphone responds and you change the character of the microphone so much. It's a very, very basic uh, feature to be used. But one more thing that changes that impedance and changes the character of the box per se by switching that, by changing that impedance is the pad and the plus six switch in the front stage. By switching those, you actually are further changing the impedance and changing the positions of those impedance where those center points of those, that this impedance switch uh, stays at i would guess yeah, i never i never read manuals actually so that's this i guess from my side but i would guess so that it just switches where that impedance position uh, sits so by even adding the pad and for you know having more gain you automatically change the character slightly change the character of of how your microphone is responding and how obviously the preamp what kind of sound you are getting out of the preamp so there is a lot of experiment, experimenting to do with this box. Quite a lot of experimenting. So many different options. You have the usual uh, on top of it, uh, which is the high pass filter with two different positions. And you also have a phase reversal, a polarity switch at the very end, output stage, and an output stage attenuation. So you can actually even crank it. Uh, crack the input stage and, and get even further sounds, you know, get more, more distortion of the box, which to me is uh, very useful for even tracking keyboards or tracking so many different things, but keyboards comes to mind and, and even vocals sometimes when you get want to get that rock sound and more uh, edgy kind of sound out of the box. 
I would truly recommend this box uh, for everybody to at least give it a try. Do you know, I, I'm pretty sure it won't disappoint you. Uh, I have two units, so that's a good uh, indication that of what the box can do. And it has become part of my basic traveling rig too. I have one of the units with me on my rack all the time. It goes with me everywhere. So uh, I hope this was helpful to you guys to understand a bit more of what it does. And I would just say give it a try.